Located nearly 300 miles west of Hong Kong in southern China is Bobai County, a collection of 325 villages under the administration of Yulin City in Guangxi Province. It is a rural region, the majority of its families being farmers who maintain a livelihood barely above subsistence. Of each year's crops, what little a family can spare to sell will yield an average per capita income of less than 270 U.S. dollars, an amount that is below 10% of the average Chinese per capita income of $3,000. The area is of little economic or political concern, and thus it remains underdeveloped, underrepresented, and impoverished. Bobai has been of interest to Western news media only twice. Once in 1949 during the Chinese Civil War when the Communists won a bloody battle here, and once in 2007 when the tension between demonstrators and the local government reached a tipping point and erupted into violent riots opposing the government's one-child policy and the methods of its enforcement. What both of these events illustrate is contempt for the poor. Once used by the communists to fill the ranks of their armies, they are now subjected to policies from that government which castigate those with the ambition for a larger family. It is unfortunate but true that the anxiety resulting from China's family planning strategies have driven some to actions that many would consider unthinkable. In addition, many poverty-stricken people, such as those in Bobai, have no governmental or community support for their medical needs. As such, they are left without a safety net in the event of a sickly or disabled child's birth. Draconian policies concerning family planning and a lack of medical resources have contributed to the prevalence of abandoned children in China. UNICEF estimates that there are more than 20 million orphaned and abandoned children in China. That is, the number of parentless children in China matches and exceeds Boston's population 40 times over. Or that there is one abandoned Chinese child for every 15 U.S. citizens. This is the single largest population of orphaned and abandoned children worldwide, and there is far from enough being done for them. Tragically, the hugeness of the numbers and the prevalence of abandoned children have encumbered rather than encouraged altruism on behalf of those around them. The people of communities like those found in Bobai County have struggled and faced many personal hardships, financial and otherwise. Their lives and living conditions have not been easy, and as such, they have been inured to the suffering around them. Indigence is so common that it has become invisible to them. Furthermore, these people are not worldly. Superstition and fears concerning the sick and disabled are common and strong. They contribute both to the feelings that initially led to the children being abandoned and the ongoing reluctance to intercede on their behalf. This stigmatization is widespread and institutionalized to the point that it is not uncommon for some schools and other institutions to deny access to the disabled. Due to these fears, the general state of destitution, and the severe restrictions on childbirth, the children who are abandoned are often those with the greatest needs the sick and the disabled. Isolation and poverty have led to an atmosphere where altruism is overridden by discrimination and outside concern non-existent or trivial. This is the atmosphere that the Alliance for Children Foundation has chosen to confront and the region it has chosen to help. Bobai County has a population of more than 1.6 million people, over three times that of Boston, and yet it did not have any facilities for orphaned or abandoned children until the Bobai Social Welfare Institute was constructed in 2005 with financial assistance from the Alliance for Children Foundation. Also in that year, the foundation opened the Alliance for Children Bobai Foster Care Administrative Center to promote foster care through recruiting, educating, and supervising foster parents. These two institutions have had a profound impact not only on the children that they directly save from abandonment, starvation, and disease, but also on the general temperament of the people in Bobai. The Alliance for Children Foundation is uniquely suited to such an undertaking. A sister organization of the Alliance for Children, a nationally accredited adoption agency with more than 35 years of experience in international adoptions, the Alliance for Children Foundation was created in response to the problems and needs observed while assisting thousands of families with their adoptions. This connection to an international organization grants the Alliance for Children Foundation access to an established and tested infrastructure that has allowed the foundation to focus exclusively on its mission rather than spending overhead on creating a new network. By these connections, the foundation maintains and grows projects in China, Colombia, Ecuador, Russia, and Vietnam, seeking to heal, strengthen, and empower some of the world's most vulnerable children. In Bobai, through the Bobai Foster Care Administrative Center, these goals are achieved by its six primary functions. The first function of the center is to recruit foster families from among the local residents. In an environment entrenched with discrimination against the sick and disabled, finding foster families for these children was at first very challenging. 
Initially, only one family elected to care for an orphan child, but through their charity and the success of their family, they have served as an example to many others. Slowly, the reticence to care for these children is receding, and the superstitions that caused it are eroding. The very nature of Bobai is changing, and a hopeful attitude is gaining momentum. Secondly, the center ensures that these children have the very best and most compassionate experiences in their foster families by educating and training the parents for the highest quality child care. The quality of life provided to each child is of the utmost importance, and to this end the center is devoted. For the many children who require ongoing therapy, the center is well equipped, sporting a rehabilitation room. Foster parents are trained in relevant therapeutic exercises that they can conduct with their children here. The third function of the center is to maintain this level of quality through supervision of the families and children, which is achieved through weekly visits. The fourth function is to ensure the health of the children, a mission accomplished with monthly checkups by volunteer doctors. The Alliance for Children Foundation has set up a special fund to cover all expenses related to emergency care, regular medical treatment, and medication for these children. The fifth function of the center is to provide the children with items needed for everyday life, such as nutritious food, clothes, toys, and school supplies. The final function of the Bobai Foster Care Administrative Center is to keep detailed records of the growth and development of the foster children the importance of which was acutely understood by an institution with a history of facilitating international adoptions. Currently, the Alliance for Children Foundation is helping over 60 children in this way. These children are the immediate beneficiaries of this work, but the entire region is transforming because of it. For the people of Bobai County, the foundation efforts here are serving as an example of the concern that people can have for strangers and the success these charitable acts can have. In this way, the Alliance for Children Foundation is not only helping many children, but also undoing the prejudices that left them helpless. Bobai County is invisible internationally, and unknown to most outside of those who live in or came from its villages. The Alliance for Children is fortunate to employ one of these people and through her have knowledge of the region and its needs, as well as an ideal liaison to the local governments. Without her invaluable work, this project would not exist. Passionate individuals working for real change are the Alliance for Children Foundation's greatest assets. We are proud of our efforts here, because we understand that these unheralded regions of the globe are the most perilous for vulnerable children, because their plight goes unnoticed and unstopped. Many similar organizations in the Chinese government promote and fund relief efforts in more visible areas to showcase their beneficence and progressiveness, respectively. Usually these efforts focus on urban areas, and while they do help, the significance of their accomplishments is relatively low due to how well developed these areas already are. In contrast, the Alliance for Children's work in Bobai is the first of its kind in that region, and as such, it is having a profound impact. There is a Buddhist saying, To add flowers to brocade, there are a thousand. To give coal in the snow, not half a person. We are that half person. Please join us.